storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. What is up, YouTube? The doctor is back in the office. Now, although we ain't live, that don't mean I can't give y'all these good scripts. We got a whole lot we got to get through, so let's get right to it. First things first, we got to bring Katie Ross into our office. If you guys remember Katie, she was on Real Housewives of Potomac, I think like seasons one through four or something like that, and then she just disappeared. We never really understood what happened with Katie. Now, if you dig into Katie's background a little bit, she had like three kids by some white man, her first husband. All right. Her second husband was white, too. Her second uh, fiance was white or whatever. But that don't matter. That That's beside the point. The whole point is Katie had pretty much, you know, it looks like she, that she had lost her mind after losing a custody battle with her kids. Why exactly did she lose her kids? I don't know. That's really sad. But let's just talk about what happened this past weekend. Katie called the police in Virginia and said that her mama picked her up, took her to New York, then took her to Virginia and then dropped her off in the middle of nowhere. And she said she was barefoot and she didn't, she, you know, her phone was about to die. And she said she didn't have her extensions in. So she had her jailhouse braids in. This is my whole thing, right? Katie has a lot going on and Katie needs help. And I feel like Katie was exploited by Bravo. And I feel like Katie um, has been exploited by a lot of people in her life in many different ways. You guys cannot forget that Katie was a model and a top model for a really long time. And I still feel like that, you know, a lot of these models, but once they got in the industry, they really be damaged goods, in my opinion. So, Katie, I'm diagnosing you with having an official mental breakdown. I'm also diagnosing you with having your loaves of children stolen by Mr. Wonderbread himself. Oh, well, we well, we can't say Wonder Bread without doing the song, all right? We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread. We got that Wonder Bread news. That's their last news. That barefoot news. That Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. Hey, bitch, I held that note. Now. In addition to having her loaf stolen by Mr. Wonderbread, I'm also diagnosing her with a broken heart because once a mother loses her children, she is never the same. But we're going to help Katie to get her kids back if she follow my script and my instructions. And long story, uh, no, and last but not least, a part of her diagnosis. Um, well, now we'll leave that part of the diagnosis out. Now, Katie, come on here and get this script. I don't care if you barefoot it, just like the church. You can come as you are up in here. You don't need no wig and no extensions to come and talk to me. First things first, I'm going to actually go and send you to... Uh, some kind of rehab or mental health facility. I want you to detox for 30 to 90 days. No, no television, no, no chocolate, no, no caffeine, no pills, no liquor, no weed, no nothing, no sex, no nothing. I want you to com be completely cleansed out so I can have a clean slate and I can know exactly how the doctor needs to help you. Remember, the doctor is not a psychologist. I am a peopleologist, but I can write her a script for a referral for any kind of physician. Uh, <clears throat> after that, we will be testing you and getting you on the right medications that you need to get your brain working right. I do believe that you are a victim of the industry and that you have been through a lot that you have not admitted to quite yet and it's going uh you're gonna need some extra help to uh basically help you get back to normal it's just it's, that's just what it is okay Next, we're going to work on getting you a job, some kind of J-O-B. Now, you do got a little money stashed away. Even if you don't want to go to work officially, what I do want you to do is to, 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 to find a hobby. You know, throughout your day, you need to be occupying your time doing something. If you don't have your children, you need to do something else because when we take you to court to get your kids back, we need to show that you are giving back to your community. Now, you will not be allowed back on reality television. I am not going to have you acting, acting an ass and making an ass out of yourself, and we're not going to have Andy Coquette Cohen uh, uh, steady exploiting you. OK, but we are going to get you as normal as possible so that your life can be back to normal as possible. And last but not least, we're going to put in a petition to get your kids back once your ass is together. All right. If you want your mama not getting along, don't go around there by her house. Don't go around there and say nothing to her for some reason. It seems like the people around you don't want you to have your kids. But I want you to at least get 50 50 custody and get back to normal. Once you get your kids, you're going to start to come back. Right. All right. All right. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.